So a private hosted zone is a container for records for a domain that you host in one or more Amazon Virtual Private Clouds or VPCs. So when it comes to private hosted zones, we have already discussed this in Route 53 as to how we can create a private hosted zone and how we can create records in the hosted zone that can help us determine how Route 53 responds to the DNS queries from our domains and subdomains. With the help of which we can send a request to dev.pytholic.com if we have that as our domain and it sends the mapping IP address with which we are able to talk to the server. So let's see how we can create one. When you come here to the Route 53 dashboard, you see a hosted zone tells Route 53 how to respond to DNS queries for a domain such as example.com. Here you see create hosted zone. So click on that or you can click on here as well and you can create your own hosted zone. For example, I want to create something like uh, pythoholic, pythoholic demo.com. So let's suppose this is a domain name that I want to have. And this is my sample dummy private hosted zone. And uh, this is the one that I want to select because this is the private hosted zone that I want to create. So private hosted zone determine how traffic is routed within an VPC or Amazon VPC. So here I have to choose a region. So my region is basically AP South 1 and the VPC that I'm looking for is basically my VPC demo because it has public access and I'll tell you why. So here I have clicked on VPC ID and then I can just uh, click on create hosted zone. So once you have created it successfully, you can see that we have the zone ID that is private hosted zone that is a type and it has been assigned to the VPC that is my VPC demo. And the record count is two. These are the sample records that uh, basically get created. There's the NS record and the SOA record. And here I can create a new record for myself. And uh, when you create a record, you will get the routing policy. So it can be like a simple routing or a weighted routing or geolocation or latency based or failover or multi-value answer. So all these things we have already discussed in the route 53 section. So here I'll just choose simple routing and I'll click on next. And it is asking me to provide a, a simple record definition. So you can just click on define simple record and uh, I'll just give dev.pytholic.com and it should point to a IP address or another value depending on the record type. And this will be my CNAME record. I'll create a CNAME record for this. And here I, it tells me to point to a specific location. So I can just point it to www.pythoholic.com or I'll just point it to amazon.com. Amazon.com can just click on define simple record. So now you have created your records. Just click on this. So now this record has been created and it points to amazon.com. So how I can validate this? I can just copy this one, dev.pytholic.com. I can go to the instance that I have. What is the instance that I have in this one? So my VPC demo hyphen one, this is basically in my private subnet. So what I can do is I can go to my public subnet. This is the VPC that I had. So I can just copy this and I can try to connect to user at the rate, IP address, hyphen I the key name and enter. Okay, so I can do a dig and I can, so I can paste the CNAME record that I have, which is dev.pytholicdemo.com. And the answer that I'm getting is www.amazon.com here. So that is how efficiently you can route traffic.